Hello there, welcome to the next year of Beer Blog. Uh, I'm just settling down to, uh, to do some work here at the moment actually. I've got a whole heap of beers to plough through this evening and write tasting notes for. And before I get going, I've just poured out uh, my first beer of the evening, which I'm really looking forward to trying. Um, it's uh, by Brewdog, it's Zeitgeist, it's their, um, it's their black lager. It's kind of, you know, it's their attempt to do something a little bit more of a mainstream uh, beer, I guess. It's never going to be mainstream black lagers. Not really a mainstream beer. The guys at Brewdog couldn't do a mainstream thing, mainstream thing if their if their lives depended on it. But um, you know, I'm really curious to try this. I've heard lots of really really good things about it. It's a fantastic kind of inky black lager. It's got a lovely. It's actually the the dominant thing on the nose initially is is funnily enough is hops. It's got a really kind of floral and grapefruity edge going on, and then underneath that you can just start to get the the chocolate. And the, the the kind of the, the dried fruit it was almost like a little bit a little bit of burnt grain there as well. That's lovely. Let's uh, get some round the gums. Mm. It's great. Black lager. You know, it's, it's one of those funny things. <clears throat> Originally, an awful lot of lager will have will have been black. You know, they couldn't really control very accurately how they how they dried the. Um, the, the germinated malt, so uh, so the malt tended to get scorched, and lagers tended to be anything from kind of mid brown to, to murky black. They weren't very clear either, and so like the, the 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 coffee and chocolate note in them is is kind of you know, or in this I should say, is actually kind of totally authentic to the style. Not that authenticity is a big deal, you know. A lot of a lot of people complain when beers aren't in style, or there should be one thing, or there should be another. Really, you know, what counts is is what's in the glass, and you know, what's in this glass is fantastic chocolatey coffee, dried fruit, and then layered on top of that, a little bit unusually, you've got a lot of kind of aromatic American hops, which is great. And what it actually reminds me of, which is, is you know, meant to be high praise, is, um, is the Brooklyn Brewery Brown Ale. It's not quite as sweet as Brooklyn Brewery Brown. It doesn't kind of have that real sort of toffee-ish thing right in the middle. It doesn't have the sweetness on the palate. But what I like about this is that it's a, it's a dark beer. It's got loads and loads of flavour in it, but it's not too heavy. It's kind of light. You know, I could see myself drinking a few bottles of this relatively easily, I suppose. So um, I'd say that's a big thumbs up for, uh, for Zeitgeist. This is my little palate livener for the evening. These are the beers I've got to work towards now. Um, it seems a shame, but I'm probably actually going to have to drink... I'm going to have to drink this before uh, I get on with the work, so it'd be a shame to waste it. Track some down, hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Cheers now, bye.